this is David again. Uh, I just wanted to uh, do another video on the audio section for Wirecast and uh, kind of give you an idea of, of how that works. A um, couple of points I'd like to make, I haven't made before, but uh, I think it's important that uh, I do it now, is the fact that uh, when we're back there in the booth, we're in a servant mode. We're not in a worship mode. Um, you're not going to be able to participate in worship and do a good job uh, while you're back there in the booth. And, um, and it's important that we do that because if we're not doing our job and the audio is howling and the video is terrible and uh, the, the audio on the live stream is distorted or not there at all, then we're distracting from the worship experience of those in our congregation and those in our congregation who are watching online and it's very important for us to do our job and do it uh, do it right um, we're in the same role as uh, Steve is as Steve is up front preaching the Word of God uh, he's in a servant mode uh, he's he's working he's not in a worship mode and the same is true for us while we're back there in that booth uh, we're to be uh, acting as servants serving those in the congregation and uh, serving those who are watching us on live stream. Um, it's a terrible thing to uh, cause a distraction because of what we do uh, for our congregation, whether it be the audio howling with feedback or if our video um, is terrible or the audio going out on our video feed is distorted or not there at all it's a distraction to that worshiper and it takes away from their worship experience and uh, we don't want to, to do that so just remember while we're back there in the booth we're not worshiping we are serving and uh, we'll have to get our worship at a later time either by watching the the video when we get home or um, wait till it's uh, our time to uh, be out of the booth and, and be out in the congregation actually worshiping. So it's important that we get that worship in, uh, but at the same time, when we're back there, we need to be doing our job and we are servants, not worshipers. And so I uh, made that point, so let's go on uh, with the audio. Um, First off, uh, let's take a look at the left side of the, the screen here. Again, the video screen on the left is the preview screen, and the video screen on the right is the audio screen. Uh, excuse me, the uh, live stream is what's act actually going out on the live stream. And the same is true for these controls up here. If you'll notice this control on the left, as I control that, it's controlling the uh, audio that's going into the um, preview monitor. Uh, so, it, like, if I cut this down here, and you notice the bar cuts down. Now, it does actually cut down on the right also because that's what's going out on our live stream. Uh, but we can make up, if I turn this one up, you can see that what's actually going out is much higher than what's on our preview, so we've made up that gain. But just wanted to let you know, uh, the control on the right and the control on the left are different. The one on the right being the most important in that that's what the actual people out on listening uh, on the live stream and watching on the live stream are, are hearing. So uh, one other thing I wanted to, to make you notice, if you look at this control here uh, if you look at the one on the left for the uh, preview and if you look over here on the right on the master we have the preview canvas and the live output that is the same control so if you'll notice here if I move this control the one on the left also moves so uh, those are actually the same control um, and also uh, here at the bottom uh, we see a, a headset and uh, that headset is actually our monitor so if we want to monitor the audio in our headset we would click um, that button and it would be highlighted uh, if we click this one we're going to be listening to the uh, preview um, audio if we click the one on the right we're going to be listening to the actual live stream audio and that's the one that I recommend you stay in most of the time unless you need to you're adjusting something 
again remember what is over here on the left is not going out on the live stream um, until you hit the live button which is this arrow here unless you have the switch in the auto mode which uh, we don't run so um, anyway you're able to make some adjustments here without affecting what's actually being heard out on the live stream uh, with the preview so and then uh, the actual video uh, excuse me audio going out on the live stream is over here on the right and again if you'll notice the button on the live output here let me move this over a little bit if I move that then it's controlling this button also so those are the same okay on the left section uh, we have the actual inputs that are going to the master and right here we'll have the headset microphone that I'm talking on and uh, as you see here is if I can control this level it controls it in the master um, and then we have one that says Amazing Grace here. That's actually the song we have selected there. And one thing I wanted to show you there is the fact that um, if you hit clear and then go live, you'll notice that one disappears because there's nothing selected. So if we select it, then hit go live, then it'll appear over here and you can control the, the music. You could actually have the music playing in the background during a preaching if you wanted to. Um, and you could have it playing at a low level. But uh, we, we don't do that. Maybe it may not be a bad idea. But uh, anyway, uh, also here at the bottom, uh, this is a mute button. Say, uh, let me go ahead and get this playing here. And. Uh, one thing I wanted to show you too here on the left side here on the preview monitor this bar here represents the music or if we have a video where it's at in the, the actual uh, point on the music or the video and uh, we can hit play there and get it to actually start playing and we can control it here on the right and you'll notice this bar is advancing as it plays through. So um, anyway, we have our music playing in the background as well as my audio. And again, if I want to mute the music, then I click that. Now, you do notice that even though I have it muted, it's still playing up here. So if I unmute it, it's going to be at a different point in the song. So if, uh, if you do mute it and you want it to pick up the same place, you're going to have to actually stop it here uh, playing if uh, you want it to pick up at the same point when you unmute so um, anyway I think that's the major part of it I'm trying to think oh also you have your headset here for the preview canvas again these are are the same and uh, if you click this one this one would, would be the, the same one so, um, and also if you need to click the mute, the live output stream, you would click here and you'll notice the audio goes away. So I know we've had some problems in the past where we missed that and we didn't have any audio and we couldn't figure out what was going on. It was just a simply a fact that we had it muted. So, um, there's a lot of little buttons hit, hit around here that you, you just have to be aware of. Now, one addition thing that I don't, additional thing we have at church I don't have here is that our camera uh, actually is a lower priced camera. Uh, not what I would have recommended, but uh, it was there when I took, a, took over the audio video. Um, and we have to send that through an SDI converter. So typically at church we have that converter level uh, control sitting up here on the, on, in this little corner right here and uh, if you get to a point where like and, and to give you an example when the deacons are praying after taking up the uh, collection and uh, w without having to go to the soundboard and cranking everything up and then go cranking it back um, go to the audio tab uh, that would be up here on the top of this little box that sits in this corner and then just 
raise the controls up. Uh, you have a left and a right channel and you have to move those up separately. Um, just remember after they're finished and we go back to normal sound levels, hit the reset button. Otherwise, everything's going to distort when we start singing a hymn. Uh, we get rather loud, particularly with the organ. So, um, anyway, just be aware of that. Uh, so, that's, this is kind of the input uh, to the, the video coming from the soundboard. Um, and, and that brings up another point. There will actually be another um, mixer level here. Uh, and I can't remember exactly what it says, but it'll say from the soundboard or the mixing console, uh, and that's over there for, um, you know, we got the X32 soundboard, and that's the input going through that converter box into Wirecast. So I think that pretty much covers everything. Again, if you have any questions, uh, just let me know and I'll be happy to answer them as best I can for you. So anyway, thanks a lot guys. Mm -hmm.